Hey guys, thank you so much for coming to my page again. My name is Maxine, they call me Max B, and you are watching The Formula of Hope. Today I have a very, very, very special guest. Um, I know you guys always hear me talk about my mom, how she's my BFF. She's the person that encourages me. I'm successful because of her, she's strong. And I'm in Canada right now, and um, I want you guys to meet my mom. So here's my mommy, she's gonna tell you a little bit about by herself, we'll ask her a couple questions and we'll go from there. Hey mommy. Hi. <laughs> tell um, my viewers and my friends a little bit who you are. Hi, hello. My name is Maisie. I'm Maxi mom. And living in Canada for 50 years. Oh my goodness, 50? Yes. Wow. 50 years. As you all know, Maxine was born in Canada with a little baby in my hands like that. And it's, it's, Canada is a good place. So I'm happy to be here in Canada. I'm so grateful to be here with her, seeing her. I know every year I work back and forth in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Five months, four months. When I was working, you know, in the nursing home with the health of this, so on for all these many years, I uh, say, okay, mommy, that's it. I'm the baby. No more work. Quit job. So that's it. I quit my job, back and forth to one matter, coming back to Canada because I love Canada. So you like the snow? I get used to the snow. So, mom, let me let me ask you because I can't even imagine having four children by yourself so tell me tell people it's and remind me how did you stay so strong just you by yourself with four kids i have um a sister and two brothers and i'm the youngest you know sometimes god is working in your life from ever since and you just don't realize you don't know but he's however there you know Maybe working through somebody out there to come and give you a helping hand mm -hmm. or a kind word. But God just work in your life. He let you be strong. He let you be happy. And he bring positive and strong people in your life around you to, you know, help lift you. Something you sing a song, how you, a word of prayer. And always, always going to the house of God. You're not looking and the pastor, nor not de deny yourself, mm -hmm. you know, and just trust in God. And when you go, just focus and the Holy Spirit, let it lead you because it is in you. The strong knowing that God, the higher power, is there with you. And when you learn that and learn the the discipline of knowing who God is as a little girl as you are going to Sunday school and coming up you know he's always there and I always have the scripture he said Maisie I'm with you and never leave you nor forsake you you know like he always there so remember that be strong and knowing that there's nothing nothing can come near you nothing can touch you when you know God is with you Said they to be strong and be happy, knowing that he's, he's a hand seen that, he's around, but he's right there. Always when you're going through the door, this for a word of prayer. Come in, thank you, God, you bring me home. What a beautiful day it was today. And be happy. And it, it, it draw a lot of people. It attract love and goodness and mercy. So be hard and be happy. That's my daughter. That, that's what we have. That's the way. She is a, 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 a teacher and she grew up and knowing that God is a handsome God and he always did in his life. Sometimes he sent somebody, he always said, he sent his word out there and he always said, you think I'm not there? He will send somebody. Somebody will be there helping you, but you don't see the person, but somebody there helping you. And they say, who are you? Do I know you? Why are you doing it? But he's an angel. God sent his angel and look around. He's not there. So let nothing, nothing 
bother you. The Bible says let nothing separate you. What I'm telling you, as a heavenly person now with my children, growing up, she grew up in Canada. She go to university. She's she know she's a strong woman. She's positive. She stand on the word of God and let it and the word of God lead her. So people out there just love the Lord and be strong, knowing that song is there. If I say not gonna lead you and I'm not gonna forsake you. So that's my daughter. I have for you every day and put in your life that you will be okay. Because God is a unseen God and the Holy Spirit is in you will let reveal things. Whatever sometimes you know you have a discerning spirit. It it it, it discern. Sometimes I say, How do I know this? What's going on? Mm -hmm. But the spirit in you let you know. It, it feels discerning you. And the next thing what I love, sometimes you can you can new people heart because when you go around people your you, you spirit in you will say oh that one is not good uh, right there spirit say no that one is not good how oh, that one do that or that one is say you know you may say how do you know i don't know but it's a spirit the spirit just gravitating if you're not a good person your spirit will let you know that that person is not a good person but still you love them and you do the best and how always give she what you have and love one another. Have a clean heart towards everyone. And you know, do good to people. Always do good to people. Doesn't matter what they do to you, just laugh because God is watching over you. And there Thank you. You know, this is just tears of, of joy, of confirmation. Cause even I remember you guys watching the channel, like even of the hard times I went through, anything like that. That's exactly the thing that my mother would tell me every time. Mm -hmm. so, okay? I'm grateful for my mom. And yes. um, it's okay. That's it. I it's, mean, yeah, be strong. It never be fail you. It yeah. never fail you. No, just knowing that, um, you know, so things, you know, you guys know I moved to Atlanta and stuff like that, but my mom is like so strong no matter what happened, no matter how crazy. I will call her and tell her stories. Or mama need this. My mom would always be positive. Mom, you always are positive. No yes. matter the roof could be thrown down, my yes. back against the wall. Mm -hmm. My mom would just say, read the scripture. Pray, Pray. read the scripture. It's strong. And today I can say it it works. You know, being positive, your mindset, you know, having faith and letting, you know, starving your doubts. <clears throat> those things work and I'm, I'm successful because my mother <clears throat> taught me great lessons and um i try to instill those in my children as well so you know my mom watched my first uh youtube thing and she's like you, you forgot to thank god so <laughs> i didn't forget to thank god but i was like oh yeah but you know god is definitely the the the, the pivotal point and the guidance of everything i do i say that if it's not bringing me closer to god it's not you know, giving me great health or abundance. I don't want any part of it. So I'm grateful for my mom and what she did for my brothers and sisters. And mom, any last thing you want to encourage everybody? I know you said believe in God, but you know, anything that you would just want to tell someone is going through something hard right now. Yes, and everybody who out there, I can say to you, just be happy. Yes, you might cry a lot, but okay. there's no tears in heaven you know just be happy and always read the scripture love your family love your enemy and in everything you do do it right you know do it right no not no bogus no anything just do it right and be positive and when you walk on the street just lift walk your head high nothing to worry about because you're guided in you you say nothing at all and I remember when I was working, you know, on the street, I saw a lady and she said, what with you? You, you always walk straight and strong. God is so positive. The love of God. So love everybody out there. Be happy. Do your job. And I love you all. I wish I could know all of you. God love you. Bless you. <laughs> well, thank you guys again. My name is Max B. And this is the formula of hope. And um. The most important in my BFF, y'all met my mom. 
So comment below, share if you have any great things to share about your mom too. Just let us know and thank you. Let me give my mom a hug on camera. Thank you, mommy. I love yeah. you. Love you too, honey. Always be my baby. All right. Okay.